everybody likes the crooked cock. I told you about the night we went Mexican hunting, right? I'm sure you have. <laughs> I think so. Did you ride an ATV to an abandoned house? Did you house get and, any? And, and, and get scared by a mannequin? <gasps> yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. the mannequin one. <laughs> it was not funny. It was not funny. It was dangerous for everyone but me. Kyle, Kyle I, I think it was funny. I disagree. It's really funny. <laughs> yeah. They took me out to an abandoned house. First of all, this guy's property is 20,000 acres. I can't wrap my head around that. And I grew up around massive acreage farms that I knew that like, oh, yeah, this is 600 acres. We could, it takes us 10 minutes to drive around it. Mm. My, my dad, a couple mm. hundred acres. All right. We could walk around this whole place in a few hours. 20,000 is just in, uh, you can't fathom it. You would need to see it from a, a, an airplane. So they drive me out in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night, late at night. And I'm armed very armed i have teeth. a fully I, I have a tarkov setup i've got a fully <laughs> automatic m4 with a 30 rounder i got extra 30 rounders on my tactical rig all right i've got <laughs> this red is a tarkov laser. setup please tell me you had swordens and a tact and a helmet <laughs> no no helmet <laughs> the, uh, later on we had helmets we did they had they had fucking night vision goggles on them yeah. but but no but no helmet at this point and they're like yeah we're not far from the border. Sometimes illegals will come up through here, come onto the ranch, and they'll stay in this abandoned place up here. We've caught them before. I was like, what do you do? He's like, we, we, we call Border Patrol. They come and get them. He's like, Let, let's clear the house. And I'm like, let me go first. Let me be the tip of the spear. <laughs> and so I'm fucking clearing this house with a goddamn machine gun like I'm a SWAT team, flashlight, and just this corner, that corner. I'm checking Were you corners. feeling really cool? I was feeling scared yeah. because they told me they might be in there. And I, I like, like I've, I've taken a bunch of special forces training classes out in uh, at, 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 like various places, like how to clear rooms that you check this corner and then that corner. And like, usually there's a target that you go pop, 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 pop. And so I finally get to the back room and I, I, I look up and there's a big fucking dude there staring at me. Must be six foot three, six foot four. And he's got his arm cocked back. And I fucking pull that thing up to his chest, and I realize it's John Elway. Football, <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's like this, <laughs> you know. And I'm just like, what if I burnt John Elway down, and those bullets go through this fucking wall and take somebody out? I don't even know which direction I'm facing right now. This was not funny, John. <laughs> not no, funny that's pretty funny. Uh, did you did you make wrong. any audible noises? Did you go like, oh, like I don't think I did. I think I just went. <laughs> but your heart's pitter pattering oh know? yeah my heart was yeah. pounding yeah yeah my heart was going as soon as i walked in because this is this is like, it's just what we train for like, yeah. like, like, <laughs> like like how many fucking silly classes and special forces operators have i like hung out with and like how many shoot rooms have i been through and they're like all right might be some common cheros in there <laughs> there might be some fucking uh drug runners hiding in my cabin and i'm like what do I do? He's like, you fucking burn him down. I'm just all right. Let's fucking go. All right, let's go burn down John L.A. <laughs> it's fucking John L.A. What do I now? Hypothetical. What do I do if I call across a Hall of Fame quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> now that uh, might uh, fuck, he saw right through us. Yes. <laughs> I didn't think that was funny. I, uh, was funny. I assume they were smart enough to stand behind, you know, where you'd be, be not on the wrong side of John L.A. Yeah, I don't I know. I, there were there were so many people around. There were, really? there were a dozen of us. You know, there mm. was like the guy who runs the place, and me, and Richard Ryan, and Eric from Iraq Veteran Eight 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 Eight, and uh, and his friend Chad, who cameramans for him, and like two or three ranch hands, and like some of us were inside, but most of us were outside. Do you know what Eric did in Iraq? What his role was there? I believe he was an infantryman. Um, I know he uh, oversaw the capture and interrogation of uh, of some high value targets. Oh, cool! Or something so like to torturing. that regard. Uh, that was handed over to Iraqis. The torturing. Yeah. Ah, uh, I bet they're pretty good. <laughs> 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 ah, I ended on that note. I love the worst. That's the best shit I've ever heard.